Alright guys, welcome, welcome. So, I'm going to be playing my current variation today of Prince Rogue. So... Right now, this deck is sporting a 56% win rate. Well, at least my build on my own statistics. It's doing pretty well. I, I, I don't really have much time to play. Um, yesterday, I, I tried playing a bunch of different decks. And it was a real depressing time. So... <laughs> It feels like, I don't, I don't know, I'm having troubles making, with the exception of like three or four decks, I'm having troubles beating uh, Kazakus Priests every time they get Kazakus. I mean, every time they get uh, the card on turn five, it's just like, it feels like almost impossible. So my list is a little bit different in, in the means that um, I actually run the five mana card to discover. And that's kind of what I want to talk about today, how good that card really is. The Jade Lotus card. So I really this one, Lotus Agents. That's speak of the devil. I really wanted to push this card to its limit. Now I could have hallucinationed into Bladed Cultus here, but a lot of times uh, rogues normally hold on to a backstab. Let me just break him down. I I, I want to do that just in case uh, he has the. Uh, I mean. If he has a 1-1 one, one pirate, 1-2 one, pirate, it's kind of hurts, but most of them don't run it. So what's he going to coin out? SI7? Which is fine. Shaku. It's also fine. Oh man, I have a couple plays here. So I can face face. Let's do this. Let's, let's now see what I get. I don't have a Voss Blind Slayer. So this is actually not bad for now. Mm, yeah. This is actually pretty good for right now. Just because I've been having bad draw RNGs. Now I dropped Cold Blood for Lotus Agents because um, I feel like the Cold Blood build is just, I mean granted it's a great build, but the uh, the Cold Blood build is really an all-in build. When you, when you Cold Blood something, you, you have to kill it, pretty much, like that's, that's your goal, that's your end goal. Is that a backstab? SI? Yeah, that's about right. To SI? Uh, he's doing perdition's blade oh full clear okay that was cute wait did he get that off shaku oh that is unfortunate for me this is what i mean like i've been getting rng'd out look at this man even if i had cool man this is awful i keep getting rng'd out these games i don't understand why every game like i ran into like 12 people who Back to back on turn two had Prince Kaliseth versus me, and I never drew him. Even the games I've won, you know, I got Prince Kaliseth on turn two or three. So Not being able to stop this is actually a big deal. If I don't draw into any of my backstabs or anything, this is this can be a problem. So I'm just gonna have to try to tempo out this. I'm not gonna burn an assassinate on that. It's just not worth it. He has poison, shaku, he has the whole nine. I mean I could try to look I could try to RNG out something. But I'll be like real disappointed. And I could get a Voss Wine Slayer next turn, so let's just do this. Um I have to put that on caution, at least. I can't let that keep on generating free cards, especially rogue cards for a rogue. I haven't drawn mine, I haven't drawn any of my other minions, my one drops, or anything. This is, happens like every game yesterday, it's just, it's ridiculous. But as a rogue, you have to make the best out of what you have.
that SI? Or that looks like a fatty Van Cleef. Yeah, okay, good. So good thing I kept the assassinate at least. So I can at least get rid of this. But he has so much card advantage right now, it's ridiculous. Alright, so... I managed to top deck something. So I can get a backstab? No. But I can get an eviscerate. An eviscerate is actually not bad here. Alright, so... So here's the thing. I can pick up this Vosplein Slayer. Which I think I need to do. Because if I don't, he's going to Vosplein Slayer me and I'm just going to automatically lose the game. Like, I'm so far behind, I may have to pick up this Vosplein Slayer right now. And hope I get one of my many 1 and 2 drops. Yeah. Because this is just gonna die immediately, no questions asked. I have to, pay. I have to try to swing, get a game swing to win this. Especially before I get into like the Leroy range. This makes this turn a little bit more awkward too. Okay. It's even, it's even scarier. What do you get this off of? Shaco Jesus. Jesus, man. This is crazy. Oh, man. Alright, I'm gonna have to drop this. Oh. Oh, my. <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna last till turn 10. I really don't. I don't think I will. I think I have to keep get predictions played if this is like a priest matchup this would have been disgusting or any other aggro matchup this would have been disgusting but i think predictions, i even though my brain is telling me to get infestation just because it's infestation the problem is is that i'm, I'm not losing the hand advantage well i'm losing the temple war right now so I, I have to try to go for some sort of a strong temple play so what am i gonna do here I'm gonna attack this. No. I'm just gonna attack this. Yeah. Two one twos and boy, he'll just trade the other one. I mean it's not even worth it. It's it's really not. He's probably gonna just remove this with some sort of removal. I need my backstab, my shaku, my something. Did he, did he draw into that? I didn't even see. I don't know, he dropped it so fast. Could attack attack. He's holding on to the Vine Spy Slayer. I'm gonna take six here. Cold blood. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm just taking too much damage. I'm, I'm not getting the cards I need. I'm gonna be at three this turn. There goes the backstabs. It's so too late for that at this point. Alright, so I'm definitely gonna backstab this. Definitely gonna follow Spire Slayer this. I'm definitely gonna eviscerate that. I'm definitely gonna attack this. And do I play this? I think I have to. He's going to Vospine Slayer me. I know this, right? He also has a bunch of level 1 drops. So, I really need this battle cry. Yeah, I'm just gonna dagger up. I mean, he can leave on me at any time. I'm so, I drew so poorly in the beginning that I'm just so far behind. I can't really. That's the thing about this deck, man. If, if you draw badly, you just, you draw really badly. Yeah, that's false. That's SI? Okay, SI. I'm probably dead. If I'm not dead, he's trying to make me dead. Okay, that's fine. I always want to tech in Galak Crawlers just to count, just to win the matchup easier, but it's when you do that, you're going down a slippery slope. So I have two options here. I can definitely clear this board with ease. He showed not to have Cold Blood and Leroy. 
So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna play for the board one last time. Like this. I just hope he doesn't kill me next turn. That was the majority of his control tools. He, oh my goodness, wow. If he has a, he probably has a, a burglar. Oh, okay, no, that's not it. It's gonna go face, okay. That was a really greedy play on his part. I don't know if I would have done that. Alright, let's see if I can pull out a backstab or something. Low cost. Alright, let's go ahead and do this. This helps me finally get rid of the boss points I've been anticipating for a long time. Do this. Let's squeeze as much damage as we can get off the board. And he's gotta have an... I mean, if he has both fast points, there's 15 left, he wins, but... I finally got him to burn one. So I'm just hoping that I'll oh, backstab into SI. Into Vosbine Slayer, the second one. If he has a second one, I mean, I did my best to play around what I could. Blade Flurry. Oh, wow. Oh, man, really? All right, two. Okay, all right. All right, so he's running out of steam, right? To clear this board, I have to assassinate that ping and then drop these two. All right? Any other play doesn't guarantee. Well, no. He's just going to auto attack me for game. So I have to make this play and hope I get something to win. So if I assassinate ping, that doesn't work. If I attack, he's at 9. I don't have enough damage to kill him. Yeah, I'm at 1, so let's see what I can get. 3. Is that enough? No. 2. 4, 5, 6, 7. That's 7 damage. Yeah, I lost. I'm pretty sure I lost. Just because my opening draw energy was so bad. Oh, and that's not even enough. If I had one more health, that would have been fine. Come on, bro. Get your win. Try two more games. Hopefully I don't draw my entire late game in the beginning. Those are games you just can't win. You have to acknowledge that. All of this is not good. I don't want any of that. That's a lot better. It's a lot better. That's like at least a 4-4 four, four bank leave on turn 3. And Lord knows I'll need the temple advantage versus a uh, druid. Let's see if maybe I can find something low cost. Scenarius or swipe? I'm not really gonna have a big board anytime soon. I need to think of it now. Even this is not bad. I'm just gonna go with the board clear. Because a lot of them have been running variants where they flood the boards with little minions, so. There it goes. This is probably even aggro. No, there's a risk play here. I don't think I want to do the risk. 
I can backstab dagger, backstab draw two one ones. Or save backstab for a four four Van Cleave. I don't think the four four Van Cleave is worth it. He might be aggro if he already has a Raven on turn one. See, I don't know anymore because both versions play this. I can't let him keep that alive. So let's just try to get some, some board presence. I may even have to drop a 2 2 Van Cleave. The top deck I'm looking for right now is Shadow Step. I have a strong feeling this is aggro now. Shaku is alright. I can live with Shaku. He's probably going to beast that, which is fine. If he buffs that, yep, Marcus, yep, figured. That is, I'm actually perfectly fine with that. He's probably going to drop Power of the Wild. Oh, through this broken card, alright, I'm not okay with that. Mmm, that's not bad. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, let me see what I get off this. Yeah, that's useless. Mm. That's why I need a beast. Like, real bad. Alright, let's put this out here. This will incentivize him to kill the Van Cleave. And if he does, I can swipe. Oh, nope. Yep, he's playing that version. Okay. Okay. Let's think here. Really, I only need this one dead. Since he's obviously playing Jade. And let's see what I can see. This is this is really vulnerable to swipe. This is like super duper vulnerable to swipe. This is vulnerable to swipe. Since he's definitely playing Jade, I don't mind him burning swipe on this. So let me just kill this off. And force a board clear out of his hand. Because if he swipes now, I'm okay with that. Okay. I'm okay with that too. And my Van Cleave's dead, so these Fireflies aren't really something I care about too much. I have more value the um, the pirate, the Prince not here. here. If he top decks a Glock Crawler, I'm in bad shape. Maybe I can get a Beast off this Locust Agent? Oh, that'd be premium. Glock Crawler. Oh, swipe. Okay, good. He top decked it, so it's gone. All right. I'm on the clock though, with versus Jade Druid. I have to win over a certain time frame, or else I'm just gonna lose. So let's see if I can get something major from this. That's pretty major. <laughs> that is pretty major. I don't want to flood the board because we're past turn six now. It's so it's such a delicate balance trying to fight druids because you can't flood the board because unless you have enough big minions to flood the board with. So it's it's just rough. Okay, that's fine. I'm going face. Okay, that's fine. I'm still going face. Hopefully I get a backstab. Two, four, five, six, seven. I mean, I don't want him to be able to kill this. He's already used swipe, actually. I may not go face. Now I'm really thinking about it. Yeah. Well, if he attacks it, right? Let's see. Well, he probably he hasn't used um, the two mana spell, and he's already burned a swipe. 
So I'm gonna do this for now. That actually makes more sense in this particular situation. Because I'm not worried about him. Um, he has to remove this one way or the other, right? Okay. Yep, there we go. Perfect. So now he, can't, he couldn't remove it because of that. So let's go ahead and do this. Destroy a minion. You know what? That This could actually be a game-winning card. Let me take this. Because he's going to try to wall up soon. Let's see. Tyrantus. That's another game-winning type card. Let's do that. So I have all five or more on the board. So even if he tries to summon his uh, swarm, I can still break through him. And then I'm going to drop this fatty 12-12 that he cannot handle. That's fine. He has to go here and here. I have more than enough life to... How much is this? 9? 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. He's at 5, 10, 11, 10, 9. That's like one off lethal. Let's do that just in case. He can't kill me from 22. He cannot kill this. He has to BGH this. If he's not teching BGH, he's, this is an instant loss for him. But with that, when he, they play the early game version, you don't have room for a BGH. So he doesn't have BGH. Like, it would really throw off your curve to put a BGH when you have this many 1 and 2 drops in the deck just to have card draw. That's the problem with this version. Oh, he's, re he's searching? Yeah, that's, yeah, can't win. There's no way. One more for the day, guys. One more. Then I gotta head out. Let's see, this is bad, this is bad, this is bad. Especially versus a paladin. I don't even want to do that, yeah, okay, so that's tough. Yep, that's what I figured. Turn one. Let's do this. Uh, yep, he got the perfect curve. Okay, we have a problem now. I need a backstab. Oh man, this is tough. He got the perfect curve. Let's do that. I need a backstab, like yesterday. Okay, good. Hero power here is fine. I can't, I can't leave this up. We're getting to the, uh, what you call it, turn. 
War Leader turns. Megasar turns, yeah, okay. It's fine. I have to kill that Megalosaur. And I have to play around Glocka Crawler, because I am still behind. If you Glocka Crawler's me right now, I'm dead. He's drawing like the perfect curve. Okay, good. He finally calmed down, Jesus. Jesus. I don't want to burn my one drops right now. I'm going to put myself in a bad position if I do. I can burn one. Let's do... Oh, I could develop a weapon, but developing a weapon doesn't do enough for me. What am I looking for here? I'm, I'm worried about his next turn definitely could be a what you call it turn, so I have to clear that. Yeah, I have to clear it. He's, on, he's going on turn six right now. So, let me look for a way to deal with it. Oh, this could be a card. You know what? This is a card. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do this. Oh, we're not going to play that Swashburglar. We're going to save it. Okay. It looks like he's really trying to get that, that buff off. Okay. Let's do this. Is the one get it back there? Okay, so let's get down. All right. It's get down. Let's go ahead and take this just in case he runs consecrate. In case he has a tech then consecrate. So I'm at 19, but I've, I've pretty much stabilized, right? So he's trying to get something on the board so he can buff it at this point. If he drops that Vospine Slayer, which I don't know why all Paladins don't run Vospine Slayer. It, it blows my mind. Yeah, he wants something to stick on the board really badly. Like, really, really badly. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's the most mana efficient play. Bam. Shadow step. I'm going to drop this on here. Get that sweet buff. Do this. He doesn't run in quality consecrate, most likely. Oh man, that's beautiful. Let's uh Oh, he forfeited. Okay. Well that's a thing. Let's try to leave on a win streak, boys. One more. One more. Even though I gotta go to work real soon. We'll do one more. And when I... I guess tomorrow, when I get a chance to play again, I'll do another video. Now, we might probably get destroyed. Because anytime I say one more, I normally draw, like, all my late game. That's just the pattern. I have, like, the worst RNG luck on the planet. Oh, especially versus another rogue. Oh, man. I haven't even seen Kelesesh in three games. I don't even know where he is. All right, that's a keeper. That's a keeper. These can go. This is a good comeback mechanic. This is a good um, tempo out mechanic, if I can get a backstab. I didn't get a backstab. I didn't get anything. So this is not looking good. This is looking real, real bad. Like, really bad. And he's going first. Yeah, this is just... For me to win this at this point, that's what I mean. I need a... I need something. I need a backstab, I need a shadow step, I need something. That ain't it. 
so I cannot afford to drop patches right now with this tempo loss. So I have to do this. If I drew patches next turn, that's just with this kind of a hand, that's an instant loss. At least now, if you Prince Kalashas, then I could still win. Okay, he's gonna kill off this, that's fine. Oh. Oh my. Oh my. Well, sometimes you get kind of lucky. Still doesn't mean I win, but it's. He can get his anytime soon, or if he can manage to control the board. But I have the advantage. Backstab. This this is how you can win. Because we will have to understand, even though you drew into Prince Kelisef, the problem still lies in the fact that um Wow, that's hate. That you have you have to draw into the Prince Kelisef cards, right? He doesn't affect these. So let's just do this. Yeah, he, he doesn't affect these, so it's a situation where um, there's a window where you can still, you know, start to make comebacks. If I get a backstab right now, that's premium. Oh, oh man. Do I really want to do this? Do I want a 4-4 four, four or a 6-6 six, six Van Cleave? He's on turn 5, he does not have the coin. He's burned a backstab already, earlier. Man, me making anything right now would be so risky. But I think I just want to go for it. Yeah, I just want to go for it. I really do. I just want to go for it. And I develop a weapon, so yeah, I just I just want to do it. He would need backstab file spine here, because he doesn't have coin, and there's nothing on the board to shadow step, and he hasn't shadow stepped anything. Next turn, I can shadow caster the Van Cleef, which is fine. Is he gonna dagger up now? Okay. All right, now he's like way behind. That's that's just super behind. But it does mean he has a um. He has a Vospine Slayer, so let's do this. I'm not gonna burn my weapon. Normally I try to keep my weapon at a 1-1. One, one, just so I don't lose damage whenever I have to... Um, yep, there it goes. Just so I don't lose damage. But we're just gonna go with it now. Alright, so let's see. You have to kill Vospine Slayers. They, they cannot live. I don't want him to get a bone mare on this next turn because he has he went first. So that's the last thing I need to see is a bone mare. Okay. Oh, he didn't draw into patches yet? That far in? Good job. Cold blood? Good job. Kill this. Fledgling. Oh, does he have cold blood? Oh man. Oh that's a board clear. Oh that's not good. That is a full board clear. Wow. Alright, so... I have to do this. Yeah, he's, he's gonna try to win off that fledgling. So... <clears throat> he's already burned, like, so much removal and so much cold blood. <laughs> Which is why I stopped running cold blood. It's really all in. I mean, you can do some cheeky things with it when you draw it early. But what is that? So you draw another fledgling. 
and beast. What kind of beast would they run in this deck? I don't know. I'm trying to think of what kind of beast they would run. Oh, probably a dragon. Cobalt Scalebane. So he definitely drew a fledgling. Yeah. But we're just going to do this. Do I want to kill that fledgling just in case? I think I do. I think I do. Because he could have a bone mare. If he has a bone mare and a fledgling, oh man, just, that can end so poorly. So let me just control the board. Most of his, he's out of most of his removal. Tark Reaper, that's probably a fledgling or a cobalt. Yeah, like I figured. I'm just gonna have to assassinate that. At this point, I don't care. What do you have? Yeah, it just doesn't even matter. I don't probably have to rewatch the video. I think I'm, st I'm still not used to the talking while playing thing. So there's a chance I could have missed lethal because I didn't count lethal last turn before that one. I feel like I may have had lethal on the board. Um, I guess that's something that's learning with time, with uh, video making. But yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I gave you guys a bonus game. Four games, Prince Rogue. Thank you so much for watching. Um, any kind of constructive criticism, you know, you guys can give me. Go ahead and put it in the comment section below. Um, go ahead and please subscribe for more content. All right, you guys have a great day.